Hello, my name is Adam Bean and one of the most popular FAQs from the web space is whether I know uh, an, an example for application which shows how to structure a uh, an web application which was built with native web components and uh, state, management, state management with Redux templates like LitHTML, how to structure such application, how to unit test such applications, how the components communicate with each other and whether it is actually to build such an application in productive way without uh, without any infrastructural frameworks or even um, NPM for development. So um, I have lots of such examples. Unfortunately, um, I built such applications together uh, with my clients, so they are uh, not public publicly available. But I decided to create one application from scratch, and this is the events example. And uh, the application is published on, on uh, GitHub, Web Components with Redux the training. This is the name of the repository and also the name of the workshop, which comes with uh, 100, 100 um, episodes and uh, five, and a, five and a half uh, hours um, video uh, lessons. And the interesting part is every lesson is a commit on GitHub. So as you can see, so it ended with uh, 11 or 1,100. So um, let's take a look at the application. So um, the entire repository comprises a front-end part, which is event dependencies management, because I used UI5 components, Mocha.js, LitHTML, Redux, so I install the dependencies as native ES6 modules. So this is the project which I used uh, to install the dependencies with Snowpack or Pika. And events is the application, and validator is the uh, server-side part, because I al al uh, also wanted to show how to deal with long-running requests. So take a look at the application. So I would like to launch it with browser sync. And uh, now this is the application and what I can do with the application. So I can manage events. So this is one event, uh, 74th ear hacks. So I can just um, delete it for instance and create a new event. This is the 75th, let's say ear hacks TV on the internet. And uh, what is it? Streaming. And where is it? When is it? Let's say somewhere probably June Monday the first. Perfect is always uh, June first, and uh, not June first, the first Monday of the month. And um, now we have it, and then I can save the event, and appears in the table, and um, it is saved also in local storage. So I can look at the local storage. So you will see the events here, and it comes with uh, uh, Redux Dev Tools. So you will see that it is actually in the Redux store should be um, in the Redux store. So let's open this on the side. And um, what I also can do now, I can of course change it or I can preview the event. And if I'm happy, which what I see is, this is with my CSS, uh, Shadow DOM is used here and uh, I can just copy it into a clipboard or uh, create another one. And um, of course I can edit the event as well. So edit that and change to AHX.io and save it and it's there. What's also, what's also possible is, uh, is time traveling because uh, every, the entire state is actually stored, as you can see. So this was the first state, and this is now the, uh, I deleted the event, I created a new event, and this is the uh, new event with modified state. So um, this example shows, it's a little bit over-engineered because I had to show you know, how to use it. and. And um, what I also would like to do is, of course, it comes with uh, server-side rendering. So if I change the, uh, the location to something strange and uh, save it, sorry, in the location rather than URI to something strange, then it will, it's going to be validate, uh, validated on the, on the server. But uh, the validation server is not available. So I got the error and then I can clear the message. So, okay, now, what um, what's what is also working is the following. What um, it's it ships with um, unit tests. So now all the unit tests with Mocar are executed. And now let's take a look at the structure. So um, I would like to open the editor and take a uh, take a brief look how the application actually looks like. So um, the idea is um, we have functional components which are actually uh, packages or folders. So we have creation to ev for event creation. Inside the boundary package, we have the custom elements. So we have new event and new event view. They are pretty short. So lit HTML is used here. Um, controls are just uh, is functionality, which uh, can be easily unit tested. 
and the, uh, for instance, the link validator control. And uh, the entity is the uh, our data operations. Like here, we have uh, functionality to uh, for editing, and we have the reducers which are installed in the on the Redux store. So filter is for filtering. Uh, so the table we can search for full text search in the table. Uh, inputs with uh, form validation. We have lib with the external dependencies. So I used uh, native uh, input elements first, then uh, switch to uh, UI5 date picker, use Vadin router. Um, in the pr prior courses, I developed router from scratch, but um, I use now third party routing as well. Then I uh, used uh, chunking because on the um, dependencies here have some commonalities, so are used here. Lit HTML, lit HTML was used and Redux was used as well. So a uh, local storage was used for autosave. We have overview components, the preview component status was interesting. So everything inherits or all custom elements are inheriting from Air Element. So uh, we built a very small framework which comprises 50, 50 lines of code um, with lots of logging inside here. And um, also uh, Bulma CSS, the great CSS library was used. Um, which uh, makes the application so there was a little a little animation and it looks uh, really nice as a modern CSS framework without any JavaScript. So this is what we did and uh, if you like check out the course and um, or at least the source code at github. So thank you for watching and see you at upcoming conferences. Ehex live so something new on the horizon. Uh, Ehex.com or Ehex TV so thank you and bye.